here and I got a packed weekend for you guys. I'm at Brussels Airport right now. I'm on my way to Italy. I'm gonna be judging the Florence battle, which is a kids battle. There's gonna be a kids crew battle. There's gonna be a longest move battle for kids. There's gonna be, well basically there's gonna be a lot of stuff gonna be done and it's gonna be awesome. I also have a team of mini droids that are going over there that are gonna do the crew battle. I also have one of the battle droids, Petito. He's gonna do the one-on-one -on -one kids battle. When this battle is done, Sunday I'm flying back home and I'm going straight to the qualifier of the BC1 Belgium and I'm gonna try and qualify myself for the top 16. And after the qualifier, I will be rehearsing with this crew called Funky Feet. They're from the French speaking part of uh, Belgium. And they have this really cool show coming up and I'm helping them choreograph it and clean it up and stuff. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a packed weekend. Now let me get something to eat really quick and then I'll be on my way, right? So you should think, all right, Sambo, you're qualifying for the Red Bull BC1, you should be eating healthy. But I'm sorry guys, I am a big, big fan of fast food. I know my fast food. And let me tell you, that giant burger right here, yo, that's some high level shit. It goes, I am the in Italy so it looks like they're doing tests on the coronavirus which is pretty goddamn scary man all right so it looks like I made it through and I'm completely corona free so we can get started on this mother weekend it goes, I am the all right so I'm on the uh, corona free bus right now uh, on my way to uh, Florence and uh, I remember going there with the uh, sis and Maflex when they were really small they both won under 16, but also the under 12. So they won two categories back in the day, which was an amazing trip. So now the the organizer, Smile, has invited me as a judge this year. Which is really, really cool. I just thought I would bring some mini droids so they can follow up in the footsteps of the battle droids. So I have been preparing with them this week. Um, even though I am judging, I will be really, really strict and I will be really, really honest, of course. And, you know, even when I'm judging my own students, I might just be, you know, more a pain in the ass than the other judges because I know when they're doing a good job and when not but anyways they are prepared we have worked on some routines and strategies and you know I, I think it's gonna be really awesome it goes, I am the Now we enter the hotel room where Coach Sambo will rest and sleep and think about making a new tutorial. And here in the bathroom, they can take the big shit here after eating all the pizza. So I'm now in the taxi in Firenze and I'm gonna meet up with the mini droids and their parents. You know, it's a really beautiful place, a beautiful town. And I'm in here with the, my cab driver right here. What's your name, brother? Is it Giovanni. 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 Is it Giovanni? Giovanni. Nice. You are uh, from Firenze? Yes. All right, yo guys, this is this is Smile right here. He's organizing the jam this weekend. Yo. All right, so if you come to Italy, just hit this guy up. He'll take care of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the team for tomorrow. We got yeah, little Hayden yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah. We got B-Boy Rehan right here. Little Haida right here, representing Mini Droids. We got Don Diego right here. We got my man Jovan representing and doing the one-on-one. -on -one. We got Giovanni. Petito today representing it. All right, so we're missing one of the mini droids. Uh, B-Boy Ebo is missing. We don't know where he is. We hope he shows up tomorrow for the battle because otherwise they're going to be in a lot of trouble for their routines they have prepared, right? Yeah. All right, guys, as you know, if you want to win battles, you have to eat... Pizza! Pizza, Pizza yeah! <laughs> Is this the best pizza you ever had in your life? Uh -huh. You sure? Yes. So we had a great time. We had some great pizza, and now we're gonna head out to bed because tomorrow is battle time, right? Battle! All right, please see you tomorrow. Boom. All right, so good morning, guys. We're on our way to the jam right now. It's 10 a.m., and I'm right here with my man Fabio, representing Hello. Fluido Jam. Buongiorno. Fabio will be and seeing the day, and I'll be judging. And if you remember IBE, oh it was God. it was the opposite. Yeah. He was judging, Sometimes. and and I was him seeing. Double skills. That's how it goes. Yeah. All right. So it looks like the event is going down in a fortress. 
aka the Fortress of Solitude. And it looks pretty cool if you ask me. You have to see it to believe it. It goes! I am the Inca, 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 Inca the so apparently this b-boy battle is going down at one of the biggest dance conventions in Italy and they have literally everything from clothing to dance shoes to Zumba classes or even b-boy and kids battles. So one good tip for all you organizers out there is if you want to organize a jam and you want females to be there just organize it at a dance convention. It goes, I am the and the thing I also have to add right here is this is one of the very few jams where it actually smells nice. Cause you know, when you go to b-boy jams, usually the smell, it smells like, you know, death. At this point, it smells like perfume and deodorant, which is a nice change for once, you know what I mean? It's right in here, guys, right in here. Follow me, follow me, guys. And all of a sudden, the smell, the smell changes. All right, so this is where it's going down. You see, you have a big floor right here, ready for the crew battles. And you know, they have a lot of space for routines and stuff, which is really, really good. I'm hoping to see a lot of teamwork, and I'm hoping to see a lot of crazy shit today. It goes, I am the Inca, 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 the Bajana Run. Sensi and Shana, what it got me? Inca, 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 the Bajana. Sensi, sensi, sensi. Yo, Mati, what I did, Mati, and Laka win me. Alright, so up to now, we had all the one on one battles, and we had the longest moves. Mini droids are ready to compete, and let's hope they destroy it. Yo, Peter, how does it feel to win one hand off battle? Man. I feel so great. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, after like eight hours of judging, it was a great event. You know the weekend isn't done yet. I still gotta qualify for the PC1 tomorrow. But first, we're gonna get ourselves some pizza. Good morning guys. We are now on our way to the airport. It was a really fun day yesterday, but now the second half of the weekend is about to start. We're on our way to the Red Bull BC1 qualifier of Belgium and you know it just doesn't stop all right so we arrived in Brussels and you know you should just check out this guy right here because I don't know if you know him but his name is MJ he's a popper here in Belgium and I I battled with him many, many times, and I always see him when I arrive here at the terminal. So I just picked up my luggage right here, and uh, looking back at the uh, jam, it was a long day. I think I judged eight hours, but I'm really happy the minis won. I'm happy that Petito won the uh, longest one hand hop. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm actually really glad and really happy that the mini droids that are not that experienced yet get to go to other countries and, you know, win competitions. And I hope they're gonna learn a lot from it. Even though, you know, sometimes when kids win, they actually don't learn that much but yeah I'm really happy they won all right so now I'm going to my home city of Antwerp it's like a half hour train ride and then I'm gonna get myself qualified for the BC1 2020 from Belgium that is in one month from now so I have been working on sets for a while now I have been watching my food and, and what I drink and all that so I should be in shape even though I didn't sleep that much and traveled a lot this weekend but you know that adds just more to the challenge a lot of people would say no I can't do it I've been so busy this weekend 
that. I'm the kind of guy that just goes all out with everything. So I did win the BC1 Belgium 2010, which is 10 years ago, man. That is crazy. And ever since I won the BC1 Belgium, I can't tell you how many semifinals I have done. I think I did like seven maybe even eight semi-finals, including last year. Yeah, I had to skip a few years because I had a back injury and I had surgery and all that. It was really, yeah, it was no joke, but now I'm back. It's been two years since the surgery, so, you know, let's just hope 10 years after winning the BC1, you get another shot and let's just hope it's the year. All right, and besides me and the kids just traveling this weekend and doing all this busy stuff, my girlfriend is actually, she's a dancer too. She's in Denmark or Sweden. She just did a showcase and there was also a battle, a whacking battle battle or, or funk styles battle I'm not really sure see there she is doing a great job probably you know we're really that international dance couple can't wait to see her again I'm gonna see her Tuesday all right so I'm gonna grab myself a train ticket all the way back to Antwerp and then stay tuned for what's gonna happen at the BC1 qualifier when battle droids win like a team competition the tradition is that they give it to the coach the problem is is that I have no more space on the walls this shit is really starting to pile up like this is from two weeks ago all this shit i can't hang on the wall because there's no more space and this one's from when i won the bc1 and it's in 2009 so it's 11 years ago and this is the article that went with it and this one is from way back this is from 2005 look at me look how stupid i am and look how chill sam is we're gonna see him in a minute that's sam that's the guy i founded team schmetta with and uh, right now he's coaching the psycho b-boys which are really really sick you should definitely check them out and this is one of the coolest gifts i ever had ever like kind of funny right so yeah i'm almost there as you can see crappy weather belgium weather but yet i can't wait to get there see everyone i hope the dj is going to drop some good beats and i think the level is going to be pretty good so i have to go all out so that's what i'm about to do my I was up against this new guy. I hope I didn't take him too hard because, you know, I don't want to show any disrespect, but the guy really did short rounds. And I was like, bro, you gotta give me some time to breathe, G. So we're waiting for the results right now. I just want to say, you know, that I'm I'm actually really, really proud of my crew and you know these kids. Well, they're not kids anymore, but for me, they'll always be kids. But I'm just so proud of them. They're just so they're just so disciplined and you know loyal, and that's really, really important to me. And, you know, when I grow old, that's the thing that will make me die in my bed with a smile on my face. And now we're just gonna wait until we get these results. Can't wait to hear if I made it through. I hope so. My second battle was also two rounds, and you know, I kind of just like let go, like I didn't give a f but to be honest with you guys, I've been training my round since October. And if I make it through, let me just know if you guys are interested in me vlogging my process and the road all the way to BC1 Belgium. So just let me know in the comments. All right, there we got my man Petito. And as you remember, he was just with me in Italy, but also from the airport straight to BC1. That's the only way how, man. That's how you're gonna get to the top. He made it all the way into top 32, and now he's waiting to see if he made it in the top 16. We will see. Giovanni. So you man, Coach Sambo just made it through the top 16. And we got a few joints that made it too. So it's good news. And now we got rehearsal until 11. So we still have a long night to go. All right, so one of the judges today was my name partner right here, uh, Sam, Sam the Wall. And, and this guy, he if you don't know this guy, then you don't know your Team Schmetta history. We founded Team Schmetta together in 2000 and something, something. Six. Shut up. Yeah. Piroman, Taka, Mayo, Rul, and Karimski, of course. Shout out to the first generation of uh, Team Schmetta. Tell me about today, man. How was the level? Oh, man, I got a lot of headache. It was, uh, the level was crazy. It's like uh, the time that the youth's gonna take over, so it's a dope era to see. 
And uh, well, Sambo Jambo, my partner, made it. I was absolutely Old against, school. but I couldn't stop the other judges from pulling him through. So shout out to uh, Sambo Jambo. Good luck. So if you guys checked out like the old Team Schmetta showcases, this guy is the guy that did the flips with the one leg. Absolutely revolutionary for his time. Uh, just check him out on Instagram, you know, the legend. Shit would have been the same if this guy wasn't here. This meeting was maybe one of the most important meetings of my of my whole life, man. Actually, we did our first battle against each yeah, other, right? Because we have the same name. Yeah, I was like, he came to my city, so and I was like, guy. this guy is called Sam. All right, we got a battle, man. And after that, the rest is history. We created Team Shmeta. <laughs> All right, one of our next judges right here was Farid. If, if you want to be a true b-boy, a real b-boy, you got to know your shit. And if you don't know this guy, then you don't know your shit. Look him up, know your shit. And just know your shit. All right, b-boy Farid, what do you think of the level today? Today wasn't bad at all. Just like there is a lot of beginner. Some of them have to practice more. At the end, the final at WBC1 is like a big level. You can be on the scene, but you can be invisible too, you know? You can be on the scene or on the stage, but yet be invisible. Just like that. Yo, this guy just, just kidding. this guy just blew your f***ing brain, right? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. So I keep practicing. Look him up. Okay, so as promised, you know, the day isn't over yet. We still have tons of stuff to do. So right now I'm with Funky Cube right here. They have a half an hour showcase and I'm helping these guys out clean up their showcase and getting all those counts really on point. So far they're doing a really, really great job. So they did the whole show full out and now we're just, you know, checking big sections of choreography and trying to clean that up and, you know, really getting the details in there. It's getting there. Let's get in there. <laughs> Again, 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 and again. Us B-boys, we really not trained in counts and stuff like that. But once you start to master your counts with your crew, you start to getting really good looking showcases, as you can see here today. Alright, so it's almost midnight and we just finished rehearsal. It was uh, it was a good rehearsal. These guys are touring pretty soon, so you should definitely check the showcase out. Some really good stuff, great creativity, good music choice. Also, I just want to say that these guys, they really work together as a team and they have good communication and, you know, they, they get to work really, really productively. Big shout out to these guys. Check out the link in the description if you want to see more of this uh, showcase. Alright, that was my weekend. I'm about to head home and hit the sack. Well, I'm not that tired, to be honest, you know, but it was a really, really crazy weekend weekend did some crazy stuff got a lot of work done really proud of a lot of people you know I can't wait for next weekend I don't even know what I'm doing next weekend but you know let's hope it's gonna be as exciting as it was today all right so I'm gonna just pass out right here peace